to Tesla Life Europe with news, tips, and great destinations to visit with your Tesla. This is episode 30. Tesla, as well as several other companies, are developing software for self driving cars. The pace of innovation in this area is very high. What about the legal complications of allowing these new techniques on the roads in the European Union? In September 2021, the European Commission has sent a draft EU Autonomous Driving Systems, or ADS, regulation to all 27 member states. The draft EU ADS regulation defines rules for rolling out level 4 or fully automated vehicles with no human driver. It also sets up safety metrics that will be used to benchmark performance. These metrics will later be used to regulate AV testing and deployment. External advice was obtained from the global law firm Hogan Lovells, who gave recommendations on the development of a European regulatory framework for autonomous vehicles. This advice identified three key recommendations. 1. A broad, holistic and flexible approach to type approval across Europe is important. In other words, the legal framework for bringing AVs onto public roads needs to be technology-friendly, open and flexible. 2. The concept of regulatory responsibility and proof of safety should be the decisive factor for regulations. The Hogan Lovells paper stresses that a pan-European approach with adequate flexibility will be key for the long-term success of AVs. The switch to automated vehicles is a much-needed development. Currently, more than 90% of all accidents are caused by human error. AVs are expected to enhance road traffic safety by relieving the pressure on drivers. Several promising efforts are currently being made by France, Germany and the Netherlands. Although Germany appears to be developing its own legislation, independent of a pan-European approach. Patrick Ayad, global leader of mobility and transportation at Hogan Levels, said, We have an exciting opportunity to introduce autonomous vehicles in Europe. Current efforts made within Europe are encouraging, and align well with the recommendations that we have made in our white paper today. We need to take a broader and holistic approach to type approval, as this will be even more valuable and beneficial for this purpose. Technological innovations, emerging new mobility solutions, as well as commercial and corporate partnerships changing the industry landscape, all call for a flexible framework. Such a framework needs to apply across Europe and its individual member states to work. 1. AV technology is innovating very quickly. 2. Such fast innovation calls for flexibility. Regulating innovation calls for the same. 3. The challenge in the EU is to ensure at the same time that the technology is safe and that commercial success is facilitated. 4. It is good to see that current activities in France, Germany and the Netherlands work towards a legal basis for the approval of level 4 driving specifically, and not for lower level human driver assistance systems. These draft regulations are clearly something of the near future. Under the current regulation, innovations in autonomous driving will be allowed on European roads as level 2 systems, with full responsibility and under full supervision of a human driver. It is likely that, for the time being and while systems are in beta test phase, that is also what manufacturers will prefer. The future is bright, with full self-driving cars lifting road safety and comfort, to a whole new level. Europe is clearly preparing its legal frameworks for autonomous vehicles. Given the European focus on the regulation of level 4 automation, manufacturers will likely get level 2 approval for their systems, until they can adequately demonstrate the safety and functionality required for level 4 autonomous driving. It is likely that Tesla's plan to introduce FSD beta in Europe this summer, is based on this legal approach. Please, leave a comment, and let us know what your thoughts and expectations are. That's it for now. Thanks for watching and see you soon.